Hi viewer, I welcome you to the Edin TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through geography form 2, lesson number 24. The topic it is direction and building. I'm your tutor, Lucy Methodi. Welcome. Our lesson goes today we are going to look at the definitions and then we look at the different ways of giving directions on the map. Let us first of all start with the definitions. Before we get to the definitions, there are some things that we are going to borrow from the topic of map work and formula. And this one, it is where now we add the marginal information. Map series, sheet name and the title, sheet index number, grid system, campus direction, magnetic variation, scales, key, addition, publisher, and copyright. Whatever you are going to basically use in the topic, one, we have the grid system, number two, we have the campus direction, number three, we have the magnetic variation. All those, we are going to cover them in this topic. Let us start by looking at some of the definitions. Now, when we talk about the direction and bearing, we say that they are these bearings and directions that appear on the magnetic compass. Whatever we have there, it is the magnetic compass that is used to give and to figure out directions and calculate exact bearing. So the magnetic compass, it is the one that is used to give the exact bearings. But today, many people will use the GPS system from the internet. They are trying to run away from the old fashioned compasses. Another thing about the compass, as you can be able to see, we have the compass that is having 32 directions. But the main ones are the ones that are given in red. We have north, east, south, and west. That is 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees. And while getting the bearing, we start from north. That is the reason as to why you are going to get that we are starting or we are having 0 degrees at north. When stating bearing, only one point of the compass is referred to that is the north. It is right from north. Going clockwise direction. That is the way we take it. Clockwise direction. How can we give the direction? There are two ways of indicating directions on the map. One, tradition methods. Two, traditional methods and modern methods. And when we talk about the tradition methods, there is the use of landmarks and the heavenly bodies. Then the modern methods, there is the use of the compass and the use of the bearing. Already you have seen the compass and the bearing. The, the compass that is used to give the directions, that is the points, and the one that is giving us the bearing. We go to the tradition methods that are used to give direction. One, there is the use of heavenly bodies, where there are no landmarks, like in descent, and large water bodies, the use of North Star and the Southern Cross and the South Pole is applicable. So those are the ones that we use. Then we have the use of the landmarks. Now, when we talk about the landmarks, we have landmarks are familiar features on the surface of the earth that can guide the traveler in finding the way from one place to another, e.g. rivers, hills, roads, buildings. For example, you can be able to see the first picture there. That one is showing the other person the direction using 
get to this corner, check this, check that. And while driving, giving direction, you can say turn left, turn right, go straight ahead, go past, cross. Those are the kind of ones that we use when you are using the landmarks. Um, these are the stars that we are talking that were used or that are used to give direction traditionally. The first one, it is the North, North Star. The brightest star where it is pointing, that is the point where we have the northern direction. That is the reason why it is referred to as the North Star. Then we have the Southern Cross Star. As you can be able to see, the Southern Cross Star, it is there. It indicates the north and south direction. As you can be able to see, the north side, we have the brightest star, while the other side, the star is not bright. Modern methods, we use the compasses. A compass is a scientific instrument that is used, whose name or is point to the north. It has a total of 32 points, as shown, in the image you can be able to see the compass just 32 of them and north is the where the it is pointing then ways in which modern maps express north they use the grid north true north and magnetic north there is the one that we refer to it as the magnetic variation it is also referred to as the magnetic declination Magnetic variation is the angle difference between the magnetic north and the true north at any point of the earth's surface. The magnetic variation of the example above is 2. That is when you take the 2 degrees 33 minutes, subtract from the true north, which is 2 degrees 35 minutes, and it is giving us so that is the magnetic declination. You can be able to see the magnetic north, true north, the grid north. The difference is the one that gives me between the magnetic north and true north. I get the magnetic declination. You can be able to see the way I get it. Then activity, define magnetic declination and state three traditional ways of giving direction. Reference, you can refer from the KRB 2003 Secondary Geography Student Book 2. For more information, you can visit, the, uh, you can get us from the SMS. You can also visit the YouTube. You can also get us from the Facebook. You can also get tweeted us through that. Stay tuned to Edim TV. Thank you.